Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve an issue I encountered while working in this scene. Long story short, after duplicating geometry around, I ended up with duplicated naming and most important, duplicated shape nodes, which was giving an error while using a plugin to deform geometry. So I will be using the OBB plugin that we had a look before in this channel, which helps you create lattices oriented to the bounding box of the object when you have baked transforms. Something the Maya lattice doesn't allow you to do. Ok, selecting the geometry and applying the custom lattice, the former, we get an error, basically saying that the object doesn't exist. Something related to the Python script. If we select another group of geometry, we can see that we have the same names and that's what's giving the error in this case. So renaming one of the objects, just adding a number, we still get an error, but that's because in this scene I have another object with the same name, due to some testing I have done before. Let's just add a number or a letter to the name and apply the lattice again. This time is working as expected. As you can see, if I apply a default lattice, it doesn't follow the orientation of the object correctly. Applying the custom lattice, it allows us to transform the object even when we have baked transforms. Or in this case, geometry created from an extrusion along a curve and later split into parts. Ok, let's display the status line and rename the selected objects. If we apply the custom lattice to the objects, it works fine in the first one, but not in the second one. We can make sure we have no other object with the same name, but in this case that's not the issue. As you can see in the attribute editor, we have two shape nodes for the same transform node, which is problematic. We can select the duplicated shape and delete it, but that won't solve the issue. Usually, you can delete the history of the geometry and that should remove the duplicated shape nodes, but it's not working in this case. Here I'm just checking how many objects have duplicated shapes and which ones are outputting an error while we're using the custom lattice. In this case I am showing you this particular plugin, but you might face this issue even with Maya default nodes or with other plugins. So let's open the script editor and have a look at the custom script I created to remove duplicated shapes. We just have a simple function that starts with an empty list that will later be filled with duplicated shape nodes. Then there's a loop that states that for each object selected, if the length of the relative nodes, the shape nodes, are bigger than 1, we append the extra shape node to the duplicated shapes list variable. So then if we do have duplicated shapes, we select them and give a warning to confirm the selection, then we can just press the delete button. Ok, let's select the geometry under the group and run the script. And after it, we just need to press the delete button. If we check the attribute editor, we can see that we no longer have duplicated shapes. Alright, now we can create the custom lattice for each object and we get no errors. I did all of this to add random sizes to each brick in the arc, so it's closer to the reference and doesn't look as procedural. Ok, that's it, I hope you learned something new and let me know if you liked this video. See you next time, bye bye.